here's a prototype for one of my uh, more random projects. Uh, just an Arduino Uno, uh, an original board, this one. And uh, just a, a modification that I've made to the LED flash routine that you can download from the Arduino development site. Um, it will become clear what this is for in, in the, later in the video. Um, as I say, this is just the, the, the prototype. Um, what I'm going to do is to transfer the code onto this, which uh, purports to be an Arduino Pro Mini. Uh, actually, in fact, it's one of the many Chinese clones. This particular one, the reference is a BTE 13010A, and uh, it uh, it has caused me some, some fun and games uh, to get it programmed, and I'll explain uh, what's happened there. So here is the uh, the Pro Mini hooked up to the board to program it, the CP2102 USB to TTL. And uh, just for the avoidance of, of doubt, uh, we can see the, the brown is, is ground, red is VCC, and the receive and transmit pins are swapped between the two boards. Uh, it's not always clear in these cases whether they go receive to receive and transmit to transmit, but in this case they are they are swapped over. <coughs> Excuse me. And not forgetting the DTR, the the, the reset uh, function, which is necessary to get the board into its programming mode. So let's hook this up to the PC. Here is the uh, Arduino sketch to uh, to set up the LEDs two LEDs for, for just slowly flashing on and off. Uh, I need to upload this to the new board so we go into the tools. Um, port is COM4. How do we know this? Well if we go into the device manager then uh, we open up the, the, the ports and we can see the Silicon Labs 21 C 0x series and if you double click on that and look at the port settings you can see the the, the board rate and uh, various other bits and pieces that you don't need to know right now but um, most important thing is that we know that it's on COM4 so here in the tools looking on COM4 now this caught me out uh, big time went round in circles for at least half an hour because the actual Arduino um, Pro Mini uh, runs uh, an Atmega 328 either the 5 volt or the 3.3 whereas the the clone is the Atmega 168 so uh, don't get caught out like like I did trying to program it with that because it's just not going to work now we're going to the routine of uploading the sketch to the module. So we just click on upload. And we can see uh, the RX and TX uh, LEDs flashing on the board uh, to indicate that it's, uh, it's done its, its job. And we also get the message here done uploading and no error messages in the, uh, in the pane at the bottom. So now we can hook up our LEDs to uh, to test this out. So just leaving the uh, the Pro Mini being powered by the USB connector we can see that the sketch is, is running and our, our LEDs over here are, are flashing on and off slowly as they should. Uh, these are just linked up to two of the PWM outputs. Uh, the, the fading uh, is essentially just um, doing a, a, a frequency sweep on the PWM ports So having proven that the upload has worked, now um, we can put it into the final project. So what could be the uh, mystery project for the slow flashing red LEDs? Da -da -da -da! I give you the skull of Frankenstein. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I 3D printed the, the, the skull off of uh, design, I think, from Thingiverse. 
and it's Frankenstein because I've reused um, the internals of a Bluetooth speaker. Um, you see on one of my other videos uh, how I had to repair the, the power amplifier. And I thought just as a, as a finishing touch, uh, the red LEDs would be uh, very suitable, which indeed they are.